welcome to the Grange Gallery of Rottingdean and uh, I'd like to welcome you to Peter Ince's painting exhibition which is on from the 2nd of February to the 28th of February. Um, I'd just like to show you around very briefly so you get an idea of what uh, the exhibition is about. The exhibition begins with our collection from our home uh, of the various sunrise and sunsets that Peter um, has uh, painted right way over the years. That's just that very first uh, try at the start of sun. What he uh, wanted this, with this exhibition, he's always been concerned about the environment and the terrible pollution that we do and how that's destroying it. But we began putting this together during Covid when he was still alive and he wanted it to be a positive experience and decided that it was a focus on the sun and everything that the sun gives us. So what we've done is tried to highlight, first of all, the sun as, as a power, and the power that it, uh, it generates uh, when it uh, reflects on the earth. Um, secondly, one of the things is, is the sun as light. And you can see from a whole range of them just how and especially at that moment when it rises, it's so bright. You see the absolute sunlight in its, its highest point when you get that first sneaking light coming through. Thirdly, the warmth of the sun. Peter was so impressed. In 53, he saw the first Van Gogh exhibition. He was uh, on a, a jazz gig and he had uh, he'd gone to the exhibition, it was the biggest exhibition they did, and he, he got so involved with the paintings and they were so vibrant that he came out and suddenly realised he's in shirt sleeves and it's snowing outside. So we invite people to come and stand here and feel the warmth of these Spanish paintings in the way that Peter did with the Van Gogh exhibition. Um, so that is the sun is the warmth. And this is the sun as health giving, and this is what he was most particularly concerned about, is that it's, it is, is the way that we, we get benefit from the sun. I'd just like to mention that we took the glass off this um, because to show you the actual mark making, the way Peter actually feels the energy, that's how, that's how he sees it as he's painting it. And on this wall, Sadly, he's not with us anymore, but his paintings are, and all the quotes are from interviews he and I had done, I think when he was 70, uh, about how, what was happening in each of these paintings. So we've got four paintings. This one's in, in, the, um, in New York State. This one uh, is in, in the UK. This one is in, uh, is in Chilliwack, in British Columbia. He did lots of journeys <coughs> and did lots of uh, travelling. Just like to get, take you to the last section of the, this first room, which is about portrayals, which is about the actual portraits themselves. This whole corner um, is an illustration of painting of blue skies uh, and in, in all sorts of places, but obviously more closely near the equator, as he said. It wasn't just that um, the sun uh, was, was stronger, it was that it was more powerful, the equator, and reduces pollution. And <coughs> Peter used to write poems, and I just want to point you to this particular poem. Um, written at a time of Covid, he just said at the end, I want to forget this, I want to forget all of this time, I want to feel hope, even at 92, I want to paint blue skies, unpolluted, and as they should be. Just as we're in the corridor, moving through to the second room, one of the things I'd just like to show you, to point out, Peter didn't only paint the blue skies, the bright, he was also concerned to paint the environment and the environmental distress or the environmental pollution. So there are pictures of storms, 
of uh, storm clouds over New York, and this is just before a storm hits uh, the beach in, in Barbados. This is the second room. This room focuses on the techniques that he used. Um, and I just want to highlight a, a couple of things. Is if you look here, Peter does not paint objects. What Peter sees is all the energy, not just the usual fossil fuel burning to provide uh, heat and energy, but he sees there as being a whole series of life energy around us and in everything. And that's what he sees. He doesn't actually paint objects. And if you can see here, and here, you can absolutely see what that process is, uh, how he goes about it. It does emerge as an object, but it's actually what you're looking at is all the energy that Peter sees. If we go here, sorry, may I just say, just to say, hello, this is Peter, and there is a video that's playing for you to watch of him talking about art. But if we look at him, actually doing the painting, one of the things is that he painted always. If he could, he was actually in contact with nature. He painted on the floor. We often had people that watched him in that process. Um, and this is, is a, a wonderful series that he did of Wadi Ra in Jordan a very favourite place of ours, and one of those places where you can see the sun scorching onto the earth. Um, one of the things is for us is, is it's only since 2017 we've been in Rottingdean, which is very special to us. I've lived here earlier, and one of the things, we live right on the coast road, and the incredible thing in uh, Rottingdean are the sunrises and sunsets. Um, and these are not doctored pictures, these are me running out early in the morning trying to capture those few moments of the most amazing sunrises that you, and sunsets that you get uh, in, in, this, uh, in, in Rottingdean in the winter cold months. And it was so inspiring for Peter that although he stopped painting, Actually, he did two really lovely last pieces of work. They're, they're more sketch pastels, but I think they're just, it was just wonderful. The rotting being so inspired him as he did those. Uh, these are the last two. It gave him a final piece of energy. If I can just put you here. Peter, um, in, uh, when he was 70, very prophetically talked about how him and uh, his work and what will go on. And uh, after he's gone, he died in, in August of last year. We had been putting this together and I decided we should, we should do it, we should, we should fulfill that. And this, as it says, he says at the end, I'm trying to get as much done as I can, but I don't feel that will be the end be the end. I mean it's the end of life but then something else happens after that and this is one of the things that's happened after that and thank you to Rottingdean Heritage for making these two rooms available and it's a wonderful space for these sorts of uh, exhibitions. So thank you, thank you to the committee.